got a lot of challenges, right? So in a starting a company, um, starting the corporation correctly, that's one of them. How do you figure out? How do you set your corporation? <laughs> um, but really, the, the real challenges are, um, is there a, is there a market for your product or for your, for your idea, for that matter? Because you probably don't have a product at that time, right? Um, so what do you want to figure out uh, is the idea that you have in mind or the vision that you have in mind. Is there a is there somebody going? To, is there somebody out there who's going to pay for it? Which is very hard to figure it out. So for me, uh, the way I ended up doing was. Uh, so I built something like you know, literally screenshots. There was no 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 product as such. Like you know, you click on one page and you go to the next page. You have four pages which I had got built. There was a event which was local here um, and it was called Forum. It was for the cloud and there uh, it was actually specifically focused on cloud. There were about. 500 or so people, like, you know, very large companies, like, you know, that are like very decent uh, crowd there. And I decided to present my screenshots. Uh, as <laughs> Obviously, people don't know that that was a, uh, I, mean, I, I mean, it was a presented in the way that uh, this is a, this is how, what you're going to get. This is a, this is a product uh, or will be a product which will be available three months from now. And is there a value uh, in this? Um, so I pitched all day long. Um, I actually brought my monitor and uh, large screen TV and showed this pretty screenshots and pitched all day long. And um, I had 10 people sign up for an alpha, as an alpha customer, which is a very interesting thing. The day, the morning I was going to the event, I was thinking whether it's going, this is going to be in or out. Like that was a decision making event for me. I was going to pitch to as many people as possible and see if there is a market. And um, I got and a lot of large corporate corporates organizations. Like you know, they showed interest, and I had a lot of follow up conversations. People talked about partnerships, and I had like you know, I didn't have a product then, which was a good thing. So that means that there is a market, and it was a validation that there is something you need to be pursuing and you need to be building. So, which was an awesome experience, and I think it was a right thing. It was a it was a right time and a right thing to do. Um, and at that point, I was all like, you know, okay, now I need to actually really do this. So I demoed it, right? So I had a, I had certain four screenshots, literally. Uh, and I had a, a simulation kind of built, like, you know, essentially we're showing if you had, um, how do you monitor these type of environments in one single, single place, right? So it was showing that can demo in, like, you know, four screenshots way and, like, you know, clicking here and there. The product was, there was, I mean, you can say there was some, some UI type of thing was built, right? But it was not a product. Uh, it, it was not ready for customers to be touched. Uh, it was only a mock-up screens, I guess. Uh, but with the story of like, you know, this is how it works, uh, right? So that's that was a like demo, but it was not a product. Uh, it was a it was not even an MVP. So it was not an MVP, but. But it was a it was to a point where like you know people could understand what the value was, people could understand what the problem is. Like you know, do you have this type of problem where you are not able to solve it? Is that does it have value for you? And are you willing to pay for it? Those are the questions, right? Those are the right questions to ask. If somebody's not willing to pay for it, that means there is no value to him, which means there is no market for him. So so this was a great place to kind of see and validate if how many people are raising their hands uh, in terms of if there is a value or not. And people did sign up, and uh, actually I delivered them the product the day it was promised. So it was not like, you know, we had promised them in June, and we delivered the product. I had actually people who actually, who participated in the feedback, participated in, in terms of, like, you know, giving us, like, you know, information, like, you know, what's more useful, what's less useful type of thing, and, and uh, it was awesome. So they were very initial customers, and then after that, we went through DreamIt. Uh, DreamIt was a, um, is an accelerator program, which is local in Philly. Uh, actually, they are in a lot of different places, um, but the one I did was in local in Philly, and um, 
I learned a ton <laughs> from that program. So, so two good things happened there. You know, they assigned mentor to each of the company, and I had techn technology background. So did my co-founder, and so did the other people on the company. Because at that time, I had a couple of programmers who would actually code. So that was interesting. And then um, with that, like you know, I had a really good mentor who actually helped me through a lot of like you know thinking of like you know the business side of the business side of Cloudomize. And especially pushing on like you know who is your customer, uh, what is the value prop, what are the pain points, what are we solving with the product, those kind of things. And at the same time, uh, Dreamit actually opened so many doors to actually talk to potential customers. So so because of Dreamit, like you know, I was able to get introductions to whoever I want to, and that way, it was very condensed and very fast way of learning. Um, and uh, that was very useful because now you're not churning time and try to figure it out. You just make like, you know, 10 calls and try to understand like, you know, are these your customers or this type of people are your customers? What are they really looking for? Should you be building that feature or should you be building some other feature? So with that, like, you know, it was, the learning was so, so good. Um, and it, it was more about, it gave me probably like, you know, a lot of acceleration in terms of like, you know, um, getting to a point where I can understand who's going to pay for, what should we be building, like, you know, is there even value there, those kind of things.